Hi everyone. What's up? Oh, hey everybody. Brian hey, over there. Brian. hey, come on. <laughs> See if we can get Brian to come in here. Oh no, he's not gonna do it. Well, we just started, so uh, hi like, everybody. Should let's we restart this. Let's do oh one. no, here we is. Okay. Hey, we've got yeah, Ryan to come out, show his beautiful face. We're only 17 seconds into this one. So Actually, gonna... gang, if you go to uh, the Creek Geeks LV uh, Facebook page, you will see Brian's butt. Now you're going to get a chance to see his face. Well, listen, I only am interrupting because it's not my podcast. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, it's, not, it's just going to walk off home run. Okay. And maybe the last one we can go see. Because, you know, <laughs> the trade deadline. Yeah. Say hi yeah. to the people, Brian. Hi, people. Brian is How's awesome. How's it going, Beer World? Uh, Tiger fan, Tiger fan. Good thing. Good. Oh, good. This is the Tiger Sock series after all. So. Uh, 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 yeah. uh. Make love to the camera. <laughs> we'll see you soon, man. That's Brian. He's very likely to take care of you if you come here on a Sunday. Yeah, or a Saturday. Or a in Saturday. the evening. In the evening. In the evening. Yeah. Uh, real quick, we are well, once again at Tanea Creek. Uh, this is the third and final review. We did not stage that. We did not stage that at all. But uh, what that is, Brian, he is one of the beer tenders here. He is El Happy on. Um, on uh, uh, Twitter, if you follow the Creek Geeks LV on Twitter, you will see his uh, things retweeted very frequently. He retweets about things going on here. So if you follow uh, Tanea Creek's Facebook page, and if you follow him on Twitter, El Hefe, and if you follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you're going to be really, you're going to have to say that it was a deliberate effort on your part to not know what was going on <laughs> at Tanea Creek. And you have no excuses. So we are here at Tanea Creek. The address is 631 Bonanza Avenue. Uh, is that right? Bonanza Avenue or Bonanza Avenue? Right? West Bonanza. Yep. Oh, Bonanza. Oh, I'll Bonanza. leave it at Bonanza. I don't know whether it's Avenue or Road. We are directly below Bonanza the Avenue. um. We are directly below the uh, spaghetti bowl here in Las Vegas. We are also just down from the Review Journal. If you are staying on the Strip or if you are staying in downtown Las Vegas, you are a very very short Uber ride, very inexpensive Uber ride very to short. and from. Uh, yep. Even a a, tr uh, a bus ride is actually uh, pretty quick to here too. Yep. So if uh, we got a couple major streets. I mean, we got the, the Strip right by us, uh, Main Street is right by us, and Martin Luther King is right by us. So, uh, yeah, it's it's very accessible from all over town, actually, because having a major freeway right, literally like right over you, is uh, helpful. It is indeed. So we we changed uh, as you can tell from the last two weeks. We were positioned uh, with the Looking equipment in the back. Side. Now we have the sign. So, and the lighting brings out my seriously gray hair. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this the rest of the review if you don't mind. All right. Cause look at look at this look at this crap. I'm 45 years old. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be doing this. This is yeah. the, uh, the first Tiger Sox review. Too old. Uh, I'm too young to have. Okay, of so. August. Uh, oh yeah, so, we're in uh, August now. We are in August now. I believe this. So, uh, um, <laughs> but I did want to say uh, that uh, as Tony mentioned in the last review. Uh, you could walk over here. I would not re recommend walking over here if you're staying downtown just yet. No, don't do that. Uh, or if you do, if, if it's nice in the evening and you want to walk over here and then like Uber back, uh, you, you could, could do you could true. easily do that. And uh, yeah, August in Vegas is basically the worst summer month because it's 31 days, obviously. But by this point, we've already been scorched for like three months, consecutive months being scorched. Yeah. So August is my least favorite month living in, living here for 25 August years. August is so. the cruelest month. Today's it's a cruel, cruel summer. Today's selection is in fact. Oh, we got a good one for you today, uh, it's, folks. It's, a, it's, it, it's my personal, it is my favorite local pilsner, probably in my top Mine three fa favorite pilsners of all time, period. Yes. But definitely my favorite local pilsner. Yes. It is the winner of the uh, 2002 uh, gold, gold um, European metal. style uh, pilsner yep. award at the Great American Beer, Beer Festival. Yep. Has a surprisingly low number of reviews on Untapped 2689. Average score 3.37, which I think is drastically that's, that's low for criminal. what this beer should be. But, uh, you know, that's that's where it is. Um, th this beer stands out to me so much when it comes to Vegas beer. I, no matter where I'm at around town, if I'm at someone's house at a party or if I'm at a restaurant, you name it, and the discussion of beer comes up, it's rare that I forget to mention Tanea Creek's Pilsner. That's it is that you're looking for. If you're looking for it in bottle shops, either here in Vegas or outside of the town, that one on top with the little uh, skull head. Yep, that's the one you're looking for. You're looking for cans that look like that. <laughs> that is the craft pilsner. <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> All I did was create a blur on the screen. No, this this pilsner is just outstanding. Uh, it won a gold medal for a reason. It is exceptional. Nine times out of ten, when I come to Tanay Creek, just to lounge around. This is the very first beer I ordered. 
Remember almost every time. Are in fact, lagers. Lagers are not usually known for their flavors. Your lagers are more of a beer, if you're going to call it a beer, a beer. Just sort of beer. Fair, then that's, that's what a lager is. And yet this is an exceptional beer. So that's what's really extraordinary about this beer is that it's it's a lager, and yet it's an exceptional lager. Uh, <clears throat> just it's a hell of a pilsner. Uh, it's a seriously solid pilsner. Yeah. Um, now these these are these draws are less than uh, ten minutes old. Not seeing much of the carbonation, but still there is some medium low carbonation showing on that. As you can see, a very flimsy head. Loggers are not known for having particularly high heavy uh, yeah. heads that help hold on. Um, well, normally when I order this beer, I have a sixteen ounce uh, pour, and when you're out at the actual bar and you get this glass slid in front of you. It is very active with bubbles. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, it is like a flurry of bubbles in this glass. So, so I, I, the fact that we've had it poured already for, like you said, about 10 minutes, and it's in a smaller glass, I, I, I think that kind of is the reason why we're not getting the carbonation through. Yeah. Um, it's a very uh, carbonated beer. Yeah, yeah. This is, I love the lighting in here because it's actually possible to see yep. the color of the beer. It's so often. I mean, most of the time when I do reviews, I do it out on the patio. It's daylight, which should be the best light, you know, to illuminate. <laughs> kind of a natural light. Yeah. Yes, but <laughs> as it turns out, artificial light here is best at showing you the actual color of these beers. So there you have it. Going to give a quick, uh, can't do a beard wipe because it's just too high up. But This could be a candle. I mean, this, this could be a Yankee candle. It is. What I notice about Pilsner's more than anything is you always smell the yeast. Yeah. Uh, and this is a very yeasty uh, bouquet, yeah. very yeasty. It's, ye it's yeast forward, and it just it just smells so clean. I mean, when when you take a whiff of this, you it's really hard to just like I'm doing, just not taking an immediate sip. It is so inviting. Light, crisp, clean, exactly. Yeah. Just exactly. Yeah, you know you you know you're about to dive into a very refreshing, uh, pleasant beer, like something that's going to just be thirst quenching, basically. So cheers. Cheers. I've had this beer so many times I can already taste it with <laughs> yeah, at this point it's almost difficult to it's like oh yeah so, um. it follows through so nice and that you get it almost feels like you're on a slide like you get it on your tongue it just slides right down the tongue and along with it it just coats your tongue with this nice clean that oat yeastiness yeasty creates, flavor. Uh, I would even say a medium mouthfeel which is very rare for um, Pilsner. Normally with the Pilsner, you get like the lowest possible mouthfeel. Obviously, there's no alcohol burn on this, although it is kind of a high uh, 5.4 ABV, which is on the higher end for Pilsner, but not not exceptionally high, just higher end. We'll put it yeah, we're not right. getting into the Imperial Pilsner, the yeah. Pilsner uh, category just yet, but I do think that if Tania wanted to, they could create an Imperial Pilsner with this as oh, the, easily. Yeah, easily. With this as yeah. the uh, root, basically. But it, it's this is one of the most refreshing beers I've ever had in my life. I mean, it's why I order it as often as I do, especially in the summer. I will order it in the winter. It, it's it's a go-to. It's it's one of those once you have it and you get, you know, you fall in love with it and you stay with it. It's tried and true. Um, it's already, it's yeasty. I mean, you taste the yeast. You can, you can, you're definitely taking the bouquet of the yeast. But you're supposed to with the pilsner. I mean, pilsner yeasts are extraordinary. That's that's why you're supposed to you're supposed to smell and taste the the, the yeast uh, before anything else. Uh, but it's not. It's also not one of those deals whereby a lot of times, okay, a, a true European pilsner, you'll get sometimes that sulfuric smell. You don't right. get it in the flavor, right. but you do get it in the smell. You don't get that with this. Definitely, um, definitely from Europe, you get pilsners like that. Yeah, for sure. And uh, um, this, you know what? I was going to say. This might be a kind of a stretch. This doesn't taste like apple juice, but it reminds me of apple juice for one reason, because of the, like the tang. The crispness, you know, or yeah, the tanginess. Yeah, you get, you just get such a such a tang on the tongue, and a and a crispness that it it really does. It's reminiscent of the sensation of apple juice. Doesn't taste like apple juice. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it doesn't taste like apples, but it reminds me of that sensation when you're when you're drinking. Uh, Fresh apple juice. A great light beer. I mean, one of the ones I like to refer to is a, a lawn mowing beer. I mean, yeah, I could see getting, you know, either either taking this out to the pool and drinking it out there, or you go to the pool a lot with your beers. Well, I do. You know, um, <laughs> the, the thing is, my pool. If he's not mowing the lawn, he's at the to, pool. Uh, Have you I, ever I, mowed I the, the lawn? lawn not the here, pool. not here. But uh, you know, I, I I grew up in the Midwest. It's it's <laughs> it's God's law. You mow the lawn every Saturday morning. There's um, lots so, of pools. Everyone has a lawn in the pool. 
Yeah, and if you grew up in the Midwest, you, well, no, not everybody has a pool, so pools are something special. When I got out here to the West Coast and everybody had a pool, I went, yay! <laughs> so you can spend a better part of the summer in the Midwest trying to hunt down a pool that you can... I just uh, picture you train. in the back, like backyard of one of those backyards that has the pool. It has just enough of the uh, landscaping around it. Uh -huh. Yeah, those, to uh, mow the grass, yeah. to mow the grass takes all of like you know literally two minutes. So I'm actually picturing you like, okay, mow the grass. You, you don't even change. You just jump in the pool, yeah. and then and, grab a bear. <laughs> and then you swim over to one yeah. side where this awaits you. Yeah. No, it it doesn't get much more refreshing than this. This this is so delightful and and light and and pleasing. I, I can't really I can't praise it enough, as you can tell. <laughs> I am pilsners are one of my top three favorite styles of beer. Um, yeah, IPA being one of them, beer. and Rosh beer, which shocks people when I tell them that because it's kind of off the the other end of the spectrum. But uh, if you give me a smoky beer, I'm happy. If you give me a very, very hop crazy double IPA, I'm happy. If you give me a Pilsner that is exceptional, such as this one, I'm happy. My my three favorite for sure. I give it a four seven five. This this has always been to this day the highest score I've ever given a beer in Untapped to this wow. day. In anybody, doesn't matter what style of beer it is, doesn't matter who they're what they're what they're brewing and who it is. This has always been my highest scoring beer, and it still is. So Tanay Creek, love you guys. Yes. I'm wearing your shirt. Sure. I don't have a tattoo though. That's coming next. Yeah. Those beers are, are, uh, are other champagne and beer. If you, if, yeah. you were the, if you were gonna pop the cork on a beer and, and uh, pour it in celebratory of something, right. I would say a pilsner is exactly what you yes. would do. And this is the pilsner I would do that with. Absolutely, hands down. It's it's the best pilsner in Vegas. I, I'm not knocking anybody else. Mm -hmm. It's just that this beer is so profoundly like better. <laughs> it's just no one to me is going to top this beer. It's my favorite local pilsner, and if it's not my favorite pilsner, then it's got to be in the top three. And I, I, at this point, I can't even think of what might take its place. Uh, <clears throat> my friend Chris uh, from Indiana did send us a pilsner from uh, 450 Brewing. God, I can't remember the name of it. It's the, it's it's one of those European yeah, ones that had yeah, the sulfur yeah. in the bouquet, but yeah, not on the flavor. Yeah, yeah. That was a really good pills. We it, it's that still in garage, yeah. we did we yeah. did, but it's still it's not it's not this. You know, it, yeah. it's a hell of a pilsner, but it's not this. I mean, this is kind of the standard by which I measure all the other pilsners. I, I kind of get the feeling that the the brewers here, and I'll name them again. Thank you guys, uh, Anthony, Johnny, Marcos, Jeff. Um, you you guys captured my heart a long time ago, but how how this came to be i'm just i'm such a fan i mean this is, all, all i feel like i'm doing is fawning i'm not really even talking about the beer i'm just like well another quick note about uh, tanea creek just to let you know um that uh, this is now august uh they are going to be coming up on their 20 year anniversary very In soon November. uh 20 year the anniversary parties here are always great and that's i mean Oh, yeah. I'm talking about anniversaries like 18 and 19. 18 and 19. So I'm thinking for 20, it's got to be something oh, really extraordinary. Uh, the doors to the brewery will be open uh, to the actual brewery itself. Right. There's going to be probably... We're, actually, where we're filming, they have live music. So they have live music. Year's, yeah, There's actually right three different locales us. here on, on most occasions. Here in the brewery, right. out there in the tap room, and then somewhere else out there in the parking lot, there'll be somebody else selling beer there. Yep. So yeah, there's beer. There's music, beer. food trucks, uh, People hanging around. Tony and I have got games all people. over the place. Oh yeah, it's cornhole. Good. If you love corn, yeah. Ooh, cornhole. Right. There's plenty of cornhole here. Yeah. <laughs> when the I, pilsner uh, is this good that you, you just gotta, you know, <laughs> oh, I love the pilsner, man. <laughs> We're gonna spend the last minute just talking. All right. So yeah, we are down to <laughs> a minute fifteen. Um, <clears throat> A given shout out to everybody. Uh, Brian is likely going to be your beer tender. If not, Brian, Ruth, or uh, Katie. Yeah, um, the whole gang is here. Uh, if you cannot, one more quick thing. If you cannot get to Tanea Creek, but you're staying here in Vegas, just about any bottle shop, in fact, any bottle shop I've ever been in, uh, sells Tanea Creek beers, as well as any beer, any bar that you go into, particularly, I know the beer garden down on the Strip, and uh, just about every other place. If, you, if you're staying downtown and you can make it to Neonopolis, I promise you Banger Brewing has got some Tanea Creek beers on tap there. So we're down and to the final. One last minute. thought, and I know we're almost out of time. If, you, if you're visiting Vegas, obviously I could consider this you know, your, your first stop if you want to check out a brewery. And we're close to a few others. So if you, mm -hmm. if you, if you wanted to do a, a, a hop, you could do a hop. Yeah. Hop, not just close, Banger. Um, Banger's mm -hmm. Bad Beat, I'm sorry. Bad Beat is close. Mm -hmm. And mean and uh, triple sevens. Yeah. So you got a few. So, yeah, so all right, time. we're out of here. Drink good beer. Thanks again, Tanae Creek, for hosting it. us. Cheers, everybody.